Uh, pretty good night, obviously. Competition, um, quarterback, I made some nice throws. We, we forced a lot of third down situations for our football team. And we're in the mode now of really trying to become a better team in situation football. And really, a lot of it has to do with our quarterback. He's going to be faced with that as a young player. You know, how we move the chains on third down are critical uh, decision making for him. So now we're in the point where we're not running out of days, but the days are, are, are lessened by our first game. So I think the guys understand that. They understand that uh, here shortly we're going to be playing football. We have one more night practice, and then we start the day practices because school's going to start, so that'll be interesting. We added a new player to our football team, uh, and uh, we went through a process that all football teams go through. There's, there's a vetting process to this. Not only was I involved in it, obviously Dr. Crow starts with him and Ray. This young man, Jack Jack, had a previous relationship with one of our coaches, AP, who we played for. So conversations got going uh, with AP and, and obviously with Jack and then uh, I was part of those conversations, uh, and uh, there was a lot to be done. There was a vetting process, and we felt, uh, knowing his background and, and taking a hard look at this, that this was a place where we felt that um, he would be given an opportunity. Everyone's not given a second chance. And, uh, in this case, uh, we felt that uh, he deserves a second chance, and we have a staff, and we have a policy around here that uh, we feel like uh, we're in the developing business, especially with young people. And uh, we were going to give this man an opportunity, but he had to do a lot of work uh, before he could even be a part of this and get here. And to his credit, he did. He did. And he did what was required. Uh, there was a consequences uh, for his actions, obviously, and, and he paid for those consequences somewhat. And now he understands what's expected. And um, if that is not the case, and he should falter, and then uh, he won't be a part of the program. And he knows that. So that's where it's at. Uh, eventually, you guys will get to visit with him. At this point, he's not going to talk to anybody. He doesn't need to. But we'll give him access to you folks uh, when the time comes, and we'll get to talk to this young man. We feel like um, he is a guy that. Uh, going to get a second opportunity with us. He's one of our 100 and I guess we got six guys now, 106 players on this football team that, that can help us. So that's kind of where that's at. Was there anything about your interactions with him that made you comfortable with that? Well, obviously conversation after conversation, you know, and, you, and, and obviously knowing AP. I mean, AP was the guy that advised me that he wanted to have a conversation with me. And it was, it was one of those conversations. There was enough straightforward it was matter of fact it was, this is what it is and uh, conversations continued to happen and then uh, it had to go to parties way above my head uh, to make sure this was going to be okay and uh, as I said we have a support staff here where all parties felt like this could be a place where this young man could get his career and, and his life back in order and uh, you know be a part of our, our football team and I'm also be a part of the community because that's what we thrive here to do as, as student athletes you know we're a big part of our community and if you've ever been around a young man um, uh, he's, he's got a great personality he really does he he fits he, he fits he fits uh, he went in a meeting today and just kind of sat in there and he's a smart guy too he knows football he, he picks up football pretty quick do you think that's what Dr. Crow wanted to know, kind of the citizenship side of it, that he was going to come here and be a good citizen? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Not only Dr. Crow, Ray Anderson, and myself. Mm -hmm. We all felt the same way. Uh, now, he, you know, he, he's in the process of trying to get in shape, and it's going to be, you know, he hasn't done anything for a while because he's been going to taking classes and doing all that stuff. Uh, so uh, we got to get him in shape. That's where he's at right now, and we'll see how long that takes. Potentially, Herm. What could this mean for that position? And you have two from your starters anyway. Well, I, I think as you watched this last year, Danny does a great job of, of the rotation with our secondary. 
You know, no one plays 70 plays in our secondary because he was required to play. I think he's a guy, when he gets in shape, obviously we know his skill set. He's a fabulous football player. And uh, that gives us more depth. That gives us the ability to play a little bit more man coverage. And uh, that's always a good thing when you have good corners that can play man coverage. And I, I, I think that's the way of the world. I mean, especially in football today. If you got corners that can stand out there outside of numbers and defend a guy, you got a chance to be a pretty good defense.